Hi guys, and welcome back to Mommy and Me Toys. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Guys, I finally found the Miniverse Make It Mini Lifestyle. I have been looking and looking for these, but I finally found them at my Walmart, so I am so excited. I also found the cafe and the new diner series, so you guys are definitely going to be wanting to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you do not miss those videos. It'll be going up soon. But yes, I am just so excited for these. These are series one, and they do have, I saw a little code on, this is a very light one, but they do have codes on them. I don't know if they mean anything. So if you guys know, could you drop me a comment and let me know, but I can't hardly make out what this one is, but it kind of looks like this one, so I'm hoping they're not the same. But yeah, guys, I just cannot wait to get into these and make some of this stuff. There are so many things in here that are just so adorable. All right, guys, I'm just going to open up and see which ones we get. So here are the new capsules for these. Now I have watched, uh, I watched a nerdy crafter open these. So I do know this turned into a shelf, which is very exciting. All right, let's see what we got. This bag. Ooh, I accidentally opened it up, but we got, ooh, we got some cactus. Some cacti. Those are really cute with little flowers on them. That's cool. I haven't seen anyone open up those ones yet. We have this little box and tons and tons of <laughs> instructions and papers. And we have, of course, little tweezers. And we have a checklist, which I just cannot wait. And I have that to look at. Let's see what else on here? Quite a big checklist. These are one of my favorite are the candles. I absolutely love them. Now there are a lot that says coming soon on here that aren't out yet. But guys, look at the birthday candles. It has sprinkles. There's more candles and some eucalyptus candles. This one right here says coming soon, but look at the lavender candles, oh my goodness. This one says coming soon, that little turtle. And then we have a little fishy bowls. And look at the little turtle. Here's more coming soon. There's some more, there's a beta you can get. Those little flowers are um, not cactus, but uh, succulents. There's more cacti. That one is so super duper cute and looks very farmhouse style. And this right here must be the one that we got for now. Look at those. Looks like you could hang them on something. Oh my goodness, how cute. Guys, these are just so adorable. I just cannot wait to dig into these. All right, so we just take this back off. So these are so super cute. I'm loving the fact they made shelves out of them. This part just pops on like this. How cute is that? That is just absolutely adorable. All right, and then we have our little box, which is probably our pot for our cacti. Don't wanna mess the box up. Enjoy opening it. <clears throat> Excuse my voice today, guys. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something. But, oh, this is so cute. It looks like a little terracotta pot. That is adorable. Definitely gotta keep this little box too. It's just so cute. Right, and we have this right here that says Sun Grow. And you have this little potting mix. It feels like squishy. And, oh, 
Oh, we get we got rocks too. Awesome. And then we have this little spade or whatever it's called. So adorable. All right, I'm gonna set those right there. All right, here is our little card, which tells us how to make this one. So it looks quite simple. Just put the dirt in, put the little cacti in, and then we put the rocks in. Now, I didn't know that some of these you don't even use resin with, so that's different. All right, let's just get busy. Cut the top of this little potting mix open. kind of like stuck together in a way like they have something in it it's keeping it kind of together and I think it shows just filling it about um, looks like it's about halfway but after you push it down a little bit it does pack down quite a bit so you do need more than you think you do all right that looks to be about what it shows but I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more these down in I hope that you know it, it seems to me like it would be the other way around that you would I mean I know when you're planting real flowers or plants you put the dirt in first and then you put in the, the the plant but I mean this is really compact and the more you push it down it compacts it more so I really feel like in some ways is it better to put this in here and put the dirt on it I don't know because I just don't see how it's gonna go in there right okay I'm just gonna put a little bit in there first see if we can do this to situate them how they will see I'm gonna try and go that down all right so now I'm gonna go in with the little rocks get some of that out of here so there's still some left there's actually still about half a bag left of that so I'm gonna maybe use that for something else now for the rocks I think I'm just gonna cut off a little corner of it so I can kind of pour them in Oh, adorable I'm surprised you don't have some type of clear resin that's gonna that you can put down on top of the dirt before you put the rocks on just because I don't, the rocks are obviously not going to stay in place but you know it's not a super big deal you obviously can just keep it put and not gonna be so cute to add it to like a little miniature house or but yeah just something like that yeah guys there is our first one so cute. I love the little flowers on it and the fact that it looks like a little terracotta pot is just so cute. Alright guys, I'm going to, and again we have 
way more than I have a bag of rocks left over as well. So I have stuff to make more things with. All right, I'm going to push this back and we are going to open up our second one. And I really hope it's not the same one since I do have, it does look like the same toad. All right, so here is our second one. Oh, we got something different. Yay. I'm not going to open that up yet because I think it comes right open. This. We got, ooh, we got salt H2O. So we have some salt water. Can it be the turtle? I would love for it to be the turtle. I want the turtle so bad. I wonder what this is. And of course, our tweezers again. And all of these many little pamphlets. Here's our little shelf. I think the shelves were just such a great idea. Such a cute way to display these. Let's see. Yeah, these are just absolutely adorable. Alright guys, I'm so curious to see what we got. First, and we got this little clear bowl looking thing. It might be a, I just hope it's the turtle. I really hope it's the turtle. And here, it says thank you on the bag. Oh, we got a fishy. We got a little Nemo. So tiny and adorable. Here. Oh my goodness, look at the little rocks. They're so cute. Oh, and we got this little plant. That's cool that I got these two because I have not seen, out of all the videos I've seen, I haven't seen anyone get either one of these. So, how awesome. All right, let's look on our little list and see which one we got. We can get, oh, we get this one right here. So I'm just going to take this off. All right. So let's turn this over. Okay, so and I ripped a little bit, but we put the rocks in first, and then we place the plants and the little fishy, and then we go in with the water. And then it looks like we put just a little, maybe a little bit of water in and then we harden that and then we go with the next layer and that may be to avoid all of the bubbles that you get. All right, I think I'm just gonna do it directly on here. These are so cute and they actually have like a little stand. Oops, again, I'm off camera. They're so cute, they have a little stand, you know, so they're gonna actually stay up, stay in place much better. Our little fishy so stinking tiny you guys oh my goodness that is really cute here is our little plant maybe I'm having trouble getting these open Good open so here's our little plant Alright, so first we go in with these little rocks. I cut them far enough. There we go. I think I will try and use these little tweezers for this part. Now, does it say to put the whole thing in or it doesn't say? But I'm guessing we probably do. I guess we'll see how high it gets. Put these down here and push them all down. Make sure we're covering all the sides well on the bottom. I actually feel like I'd probably be able to do it easier with my fingers. This has a cold kind of feel. It really reminds me of 
the Play-Doh. It's Play-Doh brand, but they're called Floam, I think it is. And it's almost like a foam filling, but they all stick together. And yeah, that's, that's exactly what it reminds me of. And it feels cool. Yeah, I feel like just doing it with fingers is an easier way to get it more even and just pack down like you need it. All right, so now I think we just place our little plant and our little fishy. So let's try with the plant first. And this is a much easier texture to deal with than the dirt when it comes to placing something down in it. Uh, let's see. Put that up against there. Yeah. Okay, take our little tiny, adorable little fishy. I'll place him closer to the front. Actually, I might use my. These tweezers are not very good. I really need to get some other ones for this kind of stuff because they're too close together. And you can't really, but then these aren't, these are like very flimsy and not very easy to use at all. So I need to get some just for crafting. And All right, go in there, Fishy. Let's put this around you. All right, so here is what it's looking like. Little fishy. So next we are just going to go in with this salt H2O, which is just some water. And I hope these are much easier to get off than they used to be. Because I had so much trouble with the ones in the past. Oh, that's awesome. That is a huge difference. All right, so... I'm really not sure how to go about this on how to avoid bubbles and all of that. I'm just going to try to coat that well. So I think, let's see, I'm not sure how much we put in before we see that. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I keep getting off camera because I'm too focused on what I'm doing and then I don't realize I'm not holding it where you can see it. I'm going to see if I can get, I did get a toothpick so I can work on getting some of these giant bubbles out. Now I don't mind if there's a few smaller ones because it is a fish tank and, well, a fish bowl. I let it set for just a second as you can see bubbles are appearing. So I wanted to let it sit for a second and just kind of do its thing so I can get rid of any big bubbles in here. Now I bet they have you do it in two different, you know, in two different times. I'm um, putting one layer in another because it does take longer when you're trying to go through so much resin to cure it, but um, yeah, so I have my little UV light, which it is summertime, but it's much quicker to just hit this light on here for, see another bubble just popped up. It's much faster to use this little light for just a couple of minutes as opposed to 15 minutes or longer. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and try and do this before these bubbles just keep popping and popping up. All right, after a couple of minutes, here is what it looks like. As you can see, there's little bubbles around, but those do not bother me at all as it is, you know, a fish bowl and there are bubbles now. However, back here, there is one a giant bubble, as you can see from the top. Now, I did see that form as I was curing it, but by the time, I mean, I couldn't, you know, it was already too hard on the very top to get down in there. So it's okay, it is in the back and not a big deal, but I'm going to go back in with the rest of this, finish filling it up, and then we will be finished with this one. All 
All right, guys, here is our little fish bowl. This is the little clownfish. Now, as you can see, there are <laughs> quite a few bubbles back there in the back that collected together. Um, if I had to do over again, I will definitely add, I put way too much resin the first time. I should have put a thin layer, cured it, another layer, cured it, and really I think it would take like three to probably avoid all those bubbles. And I see more even forming over here. But that's okay, it is a fish tank, and it's just so adorable, the little clownfish. All right guys, here are both things we made today from the Mini Burst and Make It Mini Lifestyle. How stinking cute are these? I absolutely love them. I loved the other series of Mini Burst that came out. They were so awesome. They did have a few little things they needed to tweak and guys, they totally fixed the things they needed to fix. Like opening up the bottles of resin are so much easier. They give you more resin, do exactly what you need to do. And I absolutely just couldn't love these more. And I love that they made shelves out of the packaging. What a great use there. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. And I cannot wait to open up more with you guys and make more of these. All right, guys, it's time to pick a favorite. I love them both so much, but I'm going to go with the little cacti plant. I just love plants and things in general, so it is just so cute. All right, guys, don't forget to stay tuned for my next videos coming up of the Cafe and the Diner series, too. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button, like, and that bell notification so you are notified when my next videos go up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.